And Janet says, hi, I'm an expecting mom and would like to do EC at some level from the start. What are your recommendations for getting other caretakers? For example, my husband and our parents on board, no one in our extended family or in group, our group of friends have talked about trying this. So I'm worried they're going to think I'm a little nuts. Thanks. <laughs> yes, you're not nuts. And I know you know that and I know we know that, but yeah. Please don't let that discourage you from starting in the beginning. Um, with your husband, just say, hey, have you ever thought, ask a question. It's always good to ask a question. Ask your parents to. Have you ever thought about what people do in other countries where there aren't diapers? Have you ever thought about what people did a thousand years ago with their babies? Because there weren't commercial diapers. Commercial diapers really only came to the scene about 200 years ago. Cloth as a backup. Have you ever thought about what great great grandma did with babies because they didn't have disposable diapers? Get the conversation rolling like that and then say, well, I found this resource and this woman, Andrea, teaches it um, to all these people all over the world. And it can be done with like part time and with a diaper backup. And basically we could avoid the poops. We could use about a fourth the amount of diapers we would have used. And our baby could have more self-esteem and self-confidence by doing this thing called EC. And I'm going to try it when our baby comes because I feel like it'll make her more comfortable and I'll get to know her better. And everything I read about it sounds great. Do you want to look at a video on it or something? Ooh, and I'm going to have a video of my husband explaining EC so that your husbands can watch it on my YouTube channel soon. So I'll try to pop that one up there early. But um, for your parents and your husband, it's going to be in the moment you doing it and they're going to go, oh my God, your baby's amazing. Our baby's amazing. Your husband won't have to change a poopy diaper. He'll feel successful. Husbands are really particular about they don't want to do anything if they feel like they might fail. So we want to equip them the best we can. So Janet, use the code and get my book today before midnight because that is to encourage people to get off the fence who are really kind of winging it. You will get a full idea before your baby comes about what everything looks like and you'll be able to know what you can do to start. As a compliment to that, in a week, Janet, I have my Baby Meets Potty mini course, and it's about an hour total, broken up into little chunks. It is two ways to start with a newborn from day one, even in little ways, but you won't want to do it in little ways once you see this. The simple start and the even simpler start. And these two ways are not found anywhere on my website. They're just from me doing consults with other people with newborns. And in that course, it'll show you how to start from the beginning in a very easy way. Once your husband and parents see that, they'll know. And um, yeah, Tammy was very hesitant. You joined um, my course when your baby wasn't born yet. Um, but husband and family got on board quickly because they see it happening and they're like, oh my gosh. And then all you have to do is ask the question, what do you think they do in the world where there aren't diapers? This is what they do. And if anybody critiques you or says, oh, you need to wait for readiness, that's not scientifically sound. You can just say that. That's actually not scientifically sound the Pampers company hired a pediatrician to spread that message. It's just not true. If we need more stats, go into my books. You'll see the stats. 92% of children were potty trained by 18 months old in the U.S. in 1957. What happened four years later? Disposable diapers were invented. So even in recent history, they did some kind of EC with their kids. And um, when you start and you do it, you'll pick and choose which one's like, we just want to do in the morning, we just want to do poops, or I want to do this all the time. And you'll get your rhythm, and the husband will help, and your parents will help. And in, the proof is in the pudding. My mom was, like, sold when my second was born, and I moved close to her. I was living very close to her. And she, I said, well, I think she needs her diaper change. She's really wriggly. I said, well, take her diaper off and go potty her over the sink. She went and did it. She caught a pee. She was sold. So it really just takes once. I encourage you to do it. And um, Baby Meets Potty Course will really be a helpful beginning step as well. And Laura said, I wish I knew EC could have helped my fussy at night trying to pee and feed newborn. Looking forward to the newborn course. Yeah, it's just, it's a beautiful thing to know what you're doing with a newborn, to be able to do that. It's a big gift. So, um, oh my God, I'm not even halfway through. I'm already at an hour and a half. I'm just going to answer some more. My babysitter leaves in 20 minutes and then you guys will be able to watch these later. <laughs> my baby's asleep on my breast. Not really. He's pretending. 